So the South African Post Office wants a monopoly on the delivery of parcels under one kilogram. Couriers, they should be banned. So this package that contains a, a, a book that somebody sent me, that wouldn't be allowed. Well, I say fuck that. The Post Office. The Post Office. Give me a fucking break. I got a Christmas card this week sent to me by a friend in North America. He posted it on the 2nd of December, 2020. Now it's the 13th of May. Five months later. Have you been into a post office lately? Their computers are always offline. The queue's long and slow out the door. They say, oh no, sorry, the card machines are down. You gotta pay with banknotes. The customers are standing around. The workers are too busy because they're in the back opening the parcels and stealing out their contents. It's the same madness as forcing people who watch YouTube on their cell phones to get a TV license. A TV license. Send a couple of hundred bucks a year to the SABC. What the fuck is that about, idiots? Here's another one. Some politician somewhere right now is busy working on a law to set up a central government data repository, what what. Social media companies, they're going to be required to put their data in there. Like all of your WhatsApp messages, billions and billions of bytes of data every hour. And this is because they say the police, the SAPS, might want to sift through the information later. They're going to be doing that. Fighting <laughs> And Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, they're like, what? Who's this? Consider the Minister of Transport, Mr. Fier Fokol, the guy on social media, waffling on about transformation in the transport sector, while the vandals are literally walking off behind him with the railway tracks. He's having a press conference and they're dismantling the stations behind him, brick by brick, fuck me. And now he wants to give more taxpayer money to the taxi industry, even though it just came out that they pay zero zilch nix Fokol money in taxes. South Africa. <laughs> State apparatus that cannot dish out monthly monies to poor people. Here's an envelope, it's got cash in it. Or here's a prepaid card, it's got money. No, that's too hard. Why don't you use the post office for that too? That's going to be great. They cannot work out how to burn coal, make steam, keep a turbine spinning and keep the electricity and the lights on. They can't keep an aeroplane in the sky. They can't deliver a peanut butter sandwich every day to school kids. Can't keep the schools open for poor kids more than, I don't know, two days a week. Only good at making rules, but at fuck all else. So they can't do all of those simple things, but now they want to micromanage a vaccine rollout of mRNA engineered liquids at sub, 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 sub zero temperatures. Uh oh, oh dear, here come cock. The entire nation is at risk. All 55 million of us threatened by a global pandemic. The vaccines are available, but our overlords are too busy to get it done. Our president and his top office bearers are busy squabbling amongst themselves about whether their rotten, corrupt colleagues should be allowed to continue in office. Fuck off, ace, and good riddance. For them, it's all about face saving. The government has to be seen to be in charge of the vaccine rollout. That's why it's been delayed. That's why nothing is happening. That's why we're trailing the whole of the entire world. It's not going to work anyway. In the end, the private sector operators are going to do this thing as soon as the gumshoes from the Department of Health get the fuck out of the way. You'll have to register on their website and that information's going nowhere. It's like those forms we filled out during lockdown when we got to the airport. Yes, I'm not got temperature. They throw those pieces of paper out in the rain. They're busy turning into compost right now. <sighs> yeah, man. CADA deployment in this country has led to a massive bozo explosion, a massive unstoppable outbreak of mediocrity. The people who run this country are in a league of their own. They're failing up, down and sideways. They're walking examples of the Dunning-Kruger effect. You know, people that are so dumb that they think they're doing a great job.